Hi, this is Sir Candleman, and these are five of my best clean burning candles. Let's get into it. Before, some of you say, is there such a thing as a clean burning candle? Because there's a lot of talk about them being toxic, etc. I actually watched Dr. Mike's video, The Dirty Truth About Candles, that I really liked, and it got some important points. So I'm just gonna go over those really quickly and then get into my top five brands that have really nice smelling and clean burning candles. TLDR of that video, very illuminating. Go watch it. It talks about a few things that bring concerns when it comes to candles. Three main points. One is that candles have volatile organic compounds. That's the stuff you smell when it's burning, especially if it's like cheaply made materials with like really bad wicks. It's the smoke, the soot that gets everywhere. Not good. We don't like that. Why is this chair so creaky? Girl. We need to tighten that up. Two, it forms particulate matter that can get into the lungs. We don't want that. We want easy breezy breathing, okay? You know those people that be hacking up a lung, hey? Girl. And three, they sometimes release fatalities. Is that how you say that word? How do you say that word? Anyway, that can get into your lungs. It's the stuff that makes plastic flexible. We don't want any of that. So we really want a really good wax that doesn't release crazy stuff into the air and like smells great too. So there's three things you need to look for and I'll go into what those things are and then the candles. One, generally you want a wax blend that burns at a high melt point that doesn't release kind of too much stuff. So that's why people love soy wax based candles or you know, a soy wax blend is fine because they sometimes have other waxes or a paraffin wax and which I know that's the one people have issues for. Just a little bit to really throw the fragrance if you really want more bang for your buck. And in Dr. Mike's video, he does say that you generally can't breathe in that much of it unless you're like hovering over the candle, you know what I'm saying? To cause any major harm. But I think we still want like waxes with good ingredients. Two, you want a wick that is well made, like a braided cotton wick that holds the flame together a little bit more so it's not too volatile and causing kind of more particles into the air. But you can just fix that by taking care of your candles. I have so many candle tips and tricks in my book, Let It Burn, link in bio down below. And then three formulations with kind of high quality ingredients. This part is tough. You don't really get a lot of transparency into ingredients, even all the candle brands that say like natural, blah, 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 blah. We don't know because we don't know. And sometimes people just be saying to sell you stuff. So buy a beware, okay? Buy a beware. With that in mind, these are the ones that I burn, that I find burn very cleanly, no extra stuff in the air. My ceilings on black with the soot, cause some of y'all ceilings, girl. Let's get cleaning those ceilings. It's looking crazy. It's looking scary. It's looking bad. It's looking bad, man. It's sad. So sad. It's a sad, sad situation and it's getting more and more absurd. All right, brand number one. Anything from Lola James Harper. This is one of my favorite candles from the brand. This is Rue Saint Honoré Air 213. This is the perfect fig candle. And the owner, Rami, actually taught me about the world of wax masters, the people who truly are trying to craft a wax that works with the perfect fragrance of the right throw, but also burn clean. And this proprietary wax blend makes this candle spectacular. I have a link in bio for everything. I'm not good at linking, but I'm gonna link what I can down below, okay? Mm, I love this. It's finished. I put it under the candle lamp warmer. I have used this up. I need to buy another one. The second brand straight from California, PF Candle Company. If you followed me forever, you know I love this brand. Amber and Moss is one of my favorites. This is Black Fig, but my favorite favorite is Pignon, which I have the rooms, I don't have a room spray, they don't make that anymore. I have the diffusers everywhere in my home. So good but this is soy wax only. And the fragrance is actually cool. They don't irritate because they're not as strong. They did release some higher concentration candles if you want those, but generally, if you're someone who's sensitive to smell, you want a clean burn, PF Camel Company, you cannot go wrong. Too much? I don't need to bang these together, girl. You're doing a bit much. Relax, bro. Third brand, straight from New York City. This is Reese Fields, New York. Black owned Incredible. This is a cement vessel. This is new. It's like a incense fig, which I've never smelled before. It smells so amazing. I'm gonna put it in my small business list for um, the month. Actually, I shouldn't tell you that. If you follow me on Instagram, just pretend like you haven't seen that. This is called number eight. This is also soy wax and they say natural oils for the fragrances without too much extra stuff in it. So it's like pretty crisp and pure and beautiful and fun. What I like about this is that they're all handcrafted by Reese himself. And because of that, each of the vessels is different. So you're kind of getting a one of one. These are 
Hard to come by, baby, okay? Four is my most recommended brand of all time. This is Lafco. Y'all know I love a Lafco. So much so that I have a lot of them, probably the most that I have. And I even did a collab with them. It's called Heart of the Matter, the world's best vanilla smelling fragrance. I've burned so many of these. The candles are soy wax forward and very, and very well crafted complex fragrances. This is vanilla, cumin, guayac wood, guayac wood. Can I speak right now? And this no liminal note that gives kind of an airy, wistful amber. It's like magical. But these burn very, 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 very clean. So check those out on lafco.com. Outside of my own, because this is not just about my own, um, I love Fur de Bois, my favorite. It's an amber black vanilla that I think is really good. And what else do I love? Rosemary eucalyptus. Very nice. Champagne is a hit. They also just came out with some sachet things that you can put in different places in your home. Very nice. Back to the video. Okay, this chair, y'all, I'll change it next time. So creaky, girl. And number five, one of my favorite luxury brands, anything from Trudon. They are also masters at great wax blends. This is Mademoiselle de la Valliere, Madame of the Valley? Is that what that is? I don't know, I need to get my friends together. But one of my favorites is Versailles, the blue one. Where is it, where is that? This right here, the perfect fresh crisp wood candle ever. Ooh, I'm gonna light this right now. I found that all my Trudons burn very clean. I'm pretty sure the wax is also one of those great crafted waxes since it's the oldest candle brand in the world. There you go, those are five of my fave candle brands that burn really clean, that won't put extra stuff into the air and make you feel like you're getting toxic stuff, but go watch Dr. Mike's video, Lots to Learn, in that video, the truth, the dirty truth about candles. I think they're pretty clean to me. And don't forget all the tips on how to trim, light, et cetera, your candles so that the clean burning continues, which can be found in my book, Let It Burn, or I can make a video, comment down below. If you like this video, please make sure to click the subscribe button, give it a like, and leave a comment down below. I wanna do more YouTube, so every subscription matters, every like matters, every share matters, and stay lit, girl, let it burn. Love ya, bye.